So, um, the authorities have now decided that it's also good for us to wear face masks. Uh, and it's good because this will protect the people around you in case you are infected with a virus. But wouldn't it also be nice if we were protected from other people? And so the standard for that is the N95 mask in Europe, also known as a FFP2 mask. Um, and so in order to understand uh, how this works, let's have a, a, a closer look at this. So the first thing to realize about this mask is that you cannot make it at home. It relies on a special type of material which is electrically charged, which is difficult to make and it's in short supply right now. But can, but can we make something that is better than cotton masks? Um, and so some people have suggested that we use um, vacuum cleaner bags. Um, and this seems like a good idea because vacuum cleaner bags are supposed to filter out the dust that comes out of the, out of the bag. But it turns out this is not a great idea. So I have a, 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 a HEPA uh, uh, a filtering vacuum cleaner bag over here and it's actually very hard to breathe through. This con takes considerable force. So it's not practical to make a mask out of this because it will be very difficult to breathe through. And because it takes such so much effort, the air will actually go through the sides of the mask if you do this. Uh, fortunately, I also have a different type of um, vacuum cleaner bag, uh, this one over here. Um, so it's not a HEPA filtering bag but hopefully it's better than uh, a t-shirt or a bed sheet. Um, and you can breathe through it pretty easily. Um, so let's make a mask out of this. So to start with, uh, you should cut off the, um, the plastic plate uh, near the opening over here. Uh, now I have already done this and I don't want to cut up this, this bag as well. Uh, and you would end up with a piece of cloth like this. So we cut that in half one more time. Uh, and this is actually already the basic shape of the mask. So the next thing is the nose bridge. So the, the official mask over here has a strip of metal to adapt it to the shape of your nose. Um, and this, uh, this thing over here, which is used to hold together uh, bank statements is uh, excellent for that. Um, and so we're going to make a small incision over here and pass this metal strip through to hold the strip. So now we glue the strip to the, to the mask.
So let this cool off for a bit. So if you look at the N95 mask, you will notice that under the bridge, there's a piece of foam over here. The piece of foam is uh, designed so that the air cannot uh, to, to bridge um, gaps between your cheeks and the mask uh, to make sure that the air cannot flow in and out. Uh, and it's a, it's a good idea to do this with our mask as well. So the piece of cloth that comes out of the middle of the vacuum cleaner bag, so this is the piece of cloth that goes over here, is actually excellent to do that. And now you can shape it to your face. Now the last bit is to attach elastic straps. The easiest way I found is to just take uh, rubber bands and connect them like this. And then you have an elastic and then use a stapler to attach it to the sides of the mask. Uh, and note that we're in good company. Actually, if you look at the 3M mask over here, the elastics are also stapled. And ready.